Hey guys, Joseph Allen from Joseph Allen Music here, and I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, these these six weeks uh, series on how to play guitar and just learning whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or more advanced, learning some great stuff, and more making a focus on finger style because uh, that is my forte, and uh, it's just so fun to play, and it's a genre that's so... I don't know, there's not a lot of people that do it as much anymore as the other genres, and um, I want to, that's why I'm taking these six weeks to show you guys, you know, it's not as hard as a lot of people say it is. It is challenging, but it's very rewarding, and how it can be very attainable for anybody out there. And I hope you've enjoyed these six weeks, as we're on week seven, doing a two-week bonus, since you guys have, uh, you guys have been so kind and done so well. I appreciate that so much, and uh, the turnout and everything, and so I did two weeks bonus for you guys. If you did that with me, that'd be over... $200 in lessons plus the free ebook that you can download as I pull that out right there without losing my spot today. You can go download that right now in the comments below wherever you are. And if you haven't already done so, and you can get the free copy of my ebook, How to Play Guitar, uh, not available for free forever, but right now it is. So go take advantage of that. It's got some. It's got some great stuff in it, y'all. I hope y'all will. It's, it's taken a long time to do that. And it's just been absolutely fun. And I've enjoyed those that have gotten it, talk with me, and tell me how much they enjoyed, how much it's helped them grow as a player. And uh, that's just really, really cool to hear. And so if you haven't already gone to my website, let me, you know, take time. Hey, go, go check it out. It's got some great stuff, uh, you know, on my website. JosephAllenMusic.com, you get the links below in the comments below, but we've also got where you can do lessons with me, uh, you know, you can do online library, where we have as well, you can sign up monthly if you want to do that instead of lesson per lesson, and you got sheet music tabs, chord charts, and tons of free stuff you can get, even the blogs I do, there's tons of great stuff, as well as if you need to know the gear you're looking for, you can find that in the accessories section as well, and find those there. Uh, is that video I just had just popped up and went down. Thank you so much. Uh, you can check all those great things out. And it's it's really cool. It's really fun stuff, uh, as well as the paid, as well as a lot of free stuff. Go go check that stuff out. And it's just a great place. I'm not, you know, whether my shop or anything, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by anybody to show you the things I like, show you the things I use. I just do it because it's the gear I use and I enjoy that's good, so you don't have to go out and find tons of just raunchy stuff. And so if anybody would like to sponsor me, hey, you know, shoot me an email, look me up, let's work something out, that would be fun. And so go check that out. You can get some great lessons from me. If you're virtual like this, that we'll have you on the screen, we can talk back and forth, or, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one in person. So on anything you like to learn guitar related, go check it out. It's, uh, it helps me out a lot. And so I'd love to have you aboard. Come on, it'd be awesome. And so, but today's lesson. Now, we're going to start with the beginner side, and we're going to get going with that. I have been, as I pulled this book over, we're going to be opening up to page in the guitar book, in my guitar book that you can download for free right now. Page 41, Nothing But the Blood. So you can open up your books to right there for right now. And, oh my. As I set this in here, without trying to mess anything up. I know y'all can't see, but I got, a, uh, I got a lot of stuff in front of me right now. One Man Camera Crew. It ain't easy being... You know, doing this by yourself. <laughs> All right. So let's kind of, and it's been a long week for me. I've been doing seminary and everything else, getting ready for that. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And you guys, I know, are starting off, a lot of people, my youth and stuff, I've been starting the school year. I always tell them, you know, instead of like, you know, a hump day, whoop, whoop, it's more kind of like a hump day. You know. <laughs> so enough, enough rabbit trails. Let's get on to the lesson today. So nothing but the blood. And remember, the longer the lesson goes, the harder it gets. So sit tight, learn some of this stuff, and get your fingers warmed up. It's important. All right. Builds off each other in each lesson. Nothing but the blood. So when we look at these tabs, if you don't know how to read tabs, go check out some of the previous lessons where I explain how to read guitar tabs. 
and catch up on that. But remember, a little recap, basically, what you're going to do. In each one of those lines, starting from, let's say, the line on the part that says tabs. Let's, let's look at those boxes. On the bottom line, that's going to be your top string right here. Right? And then the next bottom line is your A string. The next line is the D. That third line, or gosh, I should say, yeah, third line from the top, fourth line from the bottom, however you want to phrase it, it's going to be the G. Second line from the top is the B. And then that top line is the high E string, or, you know, your first string, whatever you like to call it, potato, potato. And so each of those lines refers to a string. And now the number is going to refer to which fret you will play that string, okay? So the first number on that tab's little box, starting from the left for you know where it's going to be a three. So the way we do that is on the B string, on the third fret, we, that's, where we, that's where we play it. And that's a cool thing. And now let me give you a little heads up because we're seeing numbers. I know for the beginners out there, we haven't quite seen a whole lot of numbers. Amazing Grace, I think, had like a few. It was mainly open notes. And this is two. And let me give you a great tip that really helps. So we learned an A chord in some of the previous lessons, right? So if you don't know what an A chord is, go check out some of the previous lessons and you can learn what an A chord is. So get your A chord out there, and to get that wire out of the way, what we're going to do is if you take your third finger and slide it up one fret to the third fret, it creates this A suspension. Ah. Yeah. Live music, right? And now what this is going to do is if you'll make that A suspension shape, those are the only fingers you're going to press down on nothing but the blood. Now we're not playing, uh, we're not playing in the key of E, okay? Or the key of A, excuse me. We're not playing the key of A. But if you'll just hold that shape, that A suspension... If you'll just hold it above the strings, that's the only places you're going to put your fingers down when we're playing these tabs, which is great. Everything else is going to be open string. So hover the A suspension over the strings. Be like, hey, coach, I'm ready to go in. And then when they are, you can just place them down, which is great. Otherwise, it's going to be open string. So with that said, let's look at this. Nothing but the blood. Start on the third fret. There's down that one of those suspension notes. There's the zero. Then there's the two on the G string. That finger right, keeping that A suspension hovering. A zero on the B. Three, there's that A suspension note on the B string. Back to zero on the B string. Let's try that phrase one more time. And we're going to count it this time. So we're going to be going like one and two and three and four. Go. And two and and and. Whoops. And. Very nice. I hope you played it better than me, getting that flat right there. All right. So now let's go on to the next phrase, and then we'll come back. That, on that word that. We got a two. Then we got another two. Then we got a zero. Let's go play the G string open. Then play back down the two. It's the same thing. One more time, do an open on the B string, zero, and there goes that A suspension again, keeping that chord hovering over there. We're not playing in the key of A, but it just helps. 
All right? Let's play those two phrases together. We're going to try to put them all together. Well, you know what? Just start on that. That makes me white as snow. We'll just kind of do it a phrase at a time, and then we'll go back and put all the song together. So, all right, start on the two, on the G string. One, and two, and three, and four, go. And two. All right, hang it in there. Good. Hey, you're struggling with the notes. Don't sweat it. You're still doing a great job. It's not easy. A lot of players don't read uh, this kind of stuff, and so the guitar tabs can be really tricky. A lot of times you can flip it in your mind. You think the top is bottom, and just got a lot, a lot going through your head. So don't even sweat it. You're doing a great job. Hang in there. Let's go to the next line. No other fount I know on measure five. Okay, we got that three there again. Then it's going to go to an open open B on the second string. Then we've got that A right there on the second fret. There you go. Back to the B, open string. Here comes the three again. Just keeping that A suspension chord going. And then open on the B string. Let's play that phrase together. You ready? One and two and three and four, go. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. All right. Now, on this last part, nothing but the blood of Jesus, we got to be a little careful here. The rhythm's going to change a little bit, so we're going to play it just a little bit faster. But you're going to be doing this one and two and, okay? It's like the one and two and. But the great part is it's all open strings except that. And you see those last two measures, the only time you're going to put down is on that two. It's on the same string. Everything else is zero. So let's kind of walk through this. Ready? It's going to do a zero. Then you have a zero. Then you have another zero. Then we have a two on the G string. Then we have the open B. Another open B. And then back to that two again. And then we end on an open G string. So great. Check that out. All right, now let's play it in tempo. Start slow. One and two and three and four. Go. Very, very nice. Okay, hang in there. You're doing good. Keep on pushing through. And if you're playing that easy, uh, sit tight. It's going to get harder. So let's play the whole song from the very beginning. And remember, just hover that A suspension chord over the strings and you'll be good to go where your fingers are going to play down. Let's pick it up just a little bit as we connect this. We're going to do it like this fast. One and two and three and four. Go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's pick it up just a little bit, and I'll try to make sure I count spot on this time. One, two, 
three, four. Yeah, good job. And you got to build up to that, do that, keep going in there, keep building it up, keep working up that speed. Don't play too fast. Don't play choppy. Don't play broken. Nice and smooth and crisp. If you can play it fast... You can do like those bluegrass players do. You know, going in. You know, hey, do that. If you can do that fast bluegrass picking and stuff, go for it, man. You can do all that, playing the melody going through, great. Do it. But if not, play it slow, play it crisp, and the speed will come. Don't be like me. Like I've said so many times during this series, and play too fast, skip the technique, don't play crisp, get 10 years down the road, and you can't move forward. And I'm going back to playing... It was so painful because I had played for so long and I could do a, a lot more stuff. And, and I wish I had just learned that early on because I didn't know a difference. <laughs> so stick tight, stick stick with it and hang in there and keep on keeping on with that. Now, I'm trying to think. The next thing I kind of want to cover is an exercise for the day. And so... We're going to look at this exercise. I'm going to move my guitar book out of the way over here. And we're going to look at something like this. If I can find my place. Nope. Ten. Get my bearings. I haven't played this in a while. Sorry. I'm trying to make sure I get to tell you guys right. I don't quite know if I like that rift a whole lot, but the purpose does serve really, really good. Ah, it's a typo. Okay. Gotta love typos, don't you? All right. That's what we're going to do. That's the lick we're going to play. And how we do this, what's going on here, and to be really careful. That lick right there. We're going to start on the ninth fret of the G string. And when we're doing this, That's kind of where we're placing our fingers. So start right there. Is like, oh, I need to get way more in view. I apologize, guys. Can't even see my, can't even see my guitar. What's going on right there is we're on the ninth fret of the G string, and we're going to push up. And make sure you got to really pay attention and listen. You know, when you do that, you don't want to go too far, not enough, and you're out of tune. You don't want to go too far, and you're out of tune. It's just right. And kind of where you're pushing... If I can make sense of this, you're literally pushing just up to the next string. So when I do this, I'm just pushing up to where the next string is going to go. 
So like if the G string was where the D string is height wise, that's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna push it up to where the D string is sitting. Uh, and it's kind of takes, it's hard, it takes a little timing, a little practice to get that groove. And when you do that, what we're going to do next, when you push it up, Yeah, you're gonna hold it there. Now that puts some a lot of tension. That puts a lot of tension on your hand as I'm still holding it there. And on the seventh fret of the B string, you're gonna play the next note. So we're gonna go up with our ninth, third finger on the ninth fret of the G string, and then you play that seventh fret right there on the B string. And then you're gonna bring it back down. See that? Listen to it. I'm not letting off that string. This one's this this exercise is tricky, but it's made to work your hand over. And so when I do that, or it's probably better to go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now y'all can see. All right. And then play that on that G string game where we got the bended note and when you hit it again it comes down so it's like bend up hold it seven it slides back down to normal and then you play the seventh fret on the G string so does that make sense as I get the groove because I held that the whole time I was talking you want to get a workout this will do it all right so get on that string push up Find the right spot. Play it again. And it slides down. And then you go to the seventh. So in sequence, it sounds like this. And you hear it more when you're playing. When you slow it down, you don't hear as much when you go. And you just let it slide back down. It's kind of like a slide note. It's interesting the way it plays. But uh, give that a whirl. And then we'll make our way to the, yeah, keep that like that, sorry. Then we'll make our way to the D string on the ninth fret. And then our finger on the seventh fret and then back to the ninth. All these strings we're playing are seven and nine. That's, that's the joy of this, seven and nine. That's it. All right. So, start from the very beginning, very slowly, on that ninth fret. You ready? Here we go, get that bend. Hold it up, play the seven. Hit that nine again on the G string, let it come back down. And then you play on the seventh on that G string. Go up to the D string, play that nine, and then play the seven on the same string. And then end on the nine. Some people like to slide in. And you can. I think it makes... It depends on the style you're playing. I think it's better to... I think you get better tone and practice when you don't slide. But there's times where you're going to slide in music. And so... Okay. Try it again. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again, three, go. Again, go. Go.
Okay, and when we play that up to speed, it goes this fast. Do you feel the burn yet on that? And now here's the catch, because you're going to play it two times. But when we play it the next time, first time use your third finger and your first finger. The second time you need to be using your reverse it and you need to be using your second finger and your fourth finger. And what this is going to do is it's going to give equal practice to all your fingers and not just two fingers are getting worked out at the same time. So if we look at that on our pinky, And that can take a little practice. Because I mean your pinky, your pinky never gets worked out. That's why that's why the pinkies that's why the pinkies are so small. The pinkies are teeny tiny. Why? Because no one ever works them. These fingers are the ones that get the workout. So they're like a they're just like really weak and puny. So it's time to work, it's time to work those pinkies out and get them to doing something amazing. So get your pinkies a workout. Okay, so start with your first and your third finger, and let's play that lick again, okay? Oh, if I start on the right one. Ready? Go. Again. Make sure you're switching your fingers. And now I go two and four. Back to the three and one. Oh, sorry guys. Ready, go. Can be really easy to miss, as you're obviously hearing with me right now. And that's an exercise. Fantastic. And that's going to serve you so, so well. It's going to create so much strength in your left hand. Uh, it's not even funny. So hang with it and sit tight right there. Okay, I think what I want to cover for more of an intermediate or... Yeah, yeah that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys some more... Uh, chord inversions and we've kind of hit off this a little bit but not like tons so we're gonna be kind of expanding a little bit I we played something to this degree and some previous stuff if my memory doesn't fail me but it's been seven weeks I might uh, you know be wrong so it wouldn't surprise me so we're gonna look at we're gonna look at something little finger style scale and we're going to be learning uh, so I'm trying to think because I think we did the seven yeah that's exactly right because before we would have done climbing as it loads my computer's slow sorry it's hard recording and streaming and loading something up at the same time apparently yeah, because we did that key. So, expand off what we kind of did earlier in some previous lessons. We're going to take our, as I move my camera back, we're going to take the G chord. And, you know, we've played it a little bit. You know, a regular G chord is like this. If you don't have to play a G chord, go back, watch some previous lessons where we explain it, and you can check out some great stuff. Yeah, whoop, whoop. All right, and you know, there's just some things you wish wouldn't have last year. You can just cut out when you edit. That that was that was one of them. All right, uh, so let's uh, let's go and yeah, let's do that. The worship G chord. We add our pinky. You know, instead of keeping that B string open, we're gonna move that bottom finger up and then put that pinky where that last one sits on the high E. So you've got like on the third fret, you've got those two bottom fingers, your fourth and your third. Fourth finger, 
and then your third. And then you've got the regular G on top. Worship G chord. That's what we're going to do. You know, you heard it in all the songs, right? <laughs> uh, you can hear it in so many progressions everywhere. Comment below if you know what song that is. All righty. And, uh, yes, it's Christian. And, uh... Let's look at this G chord, but we're not going to play the pinky. We've kind of talked about that before. It's just that same one we've done before, if my memory doesn't escape me. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a little milonga, which is kind of like a variation of toada. So we're going to start with our finger style. If you don't know what toada is, go check out some of the previous lessons. But let's keep going. Start with your root note. And then you're going to hit the D string with I, the G string with uh, M, and then as I'm translating my head, and then your, your A on the B. So it's root, D string, G string, B string. Straight up to Adha. We're going to go back, I. M, A, and then you'll end on I. So it's P, I, M, A, I, M, A, I. You follow me? P, I, M, A, I, M, A, I. P, I, M, A, I, M, A, I. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, two. And what we're going to do is we're going to be sliding up the neck as we play this. So... How it's going to look, how it's going to work, look and work. It's great, isn't it? What, what, just great choices in English. Man, uh, I don't like English. Okay, all right. Yes, I'm a native Texan, but English is, it just doesn't work. <laughs> all righty. So let's go to this G, and when we do that, you don't have to change this position. That's what's great. We're going to slide up. One whole step to the fifth fret. And do the same thing. Then you're going to slide up to the seventh fret. Did I play something wrong? Three? Oh no. No, it's right. That's just a typo. Yeah, that's right. It's just type on my end. Okay. Slide up to the seventh fret. Then we're going to slide up to the eighth fret. Then we're going to slide up to the uh, tenth fret. And then we're going to slide up to the twelfth. Ah, that's really pretty, isn't it? Mmm, it's so nice. Okay, starting on the G. Same chord all the way up. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to the eighth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the tenth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the twelfth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's try that a little bit faster, and I'm going to keep my neck kind of where it is on the guitar, 
Start on the third fret, taking that G. You're going to play a little bit faster now. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's, let's add a little. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go. Two, seven. Fifth fret, right there, fifth fret. Seventh. Eight, yeah. I have a brain fart moment. Ten. Twelve. Start over, go back down the G. Fifth fret. Go to the seventh. Slide up to the eight. Slide up to the ten. Slide up to the twelve. Very, very nice. What you're playing is G chord, G5 technically. You're going to slide up to an A. I mean, I guess you're kind of doing a uh, Re, La, Si, Do, Re. Yeah, Re, La, Si, Do, Re. A. An A7. Add La, Si, Do, Re, add four. A7, add four. Then you're gonna go up to the B minor on the seven, which is a B minor flat 13, technically. Up to the eight, which is a C, sus two. And then up to the D on the 10th fret, which is a D sus four. And then you have an E minor, which is, yeah, an E minor, yeah. I like it. Maybe with the D in the bass, you could argue a little bit. Yeah, an E minor slash D. Yeah, sure. That'll work. E7, whatever you want to call it. E minor 7. E minor 7. So, let's walk up that full speed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, 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 no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fifth fret, seven, eight, ten, twelve. There it is. Yeah, very nice, guys. Very well done. Good job practicing, hanging in there. That is the lesson for today. Please don't forget, as I click a button right here, you can go check my website out. Great chord charts, uh, great ensemble pieces for guitar, great everything, scales, you name it, uh, songs, anything and everything, tons of stuff for free. You can sign up for my academy as well, and you can do that for online subscription as well as monthly, or you can do it lessons, face-to-face, -face, virtual, whatever you like. Sign up. You do not want to miss out. Tons of free stuff, blogs, everything else like that. Please keep up to date with what's going on. I got some great stuff out there, and I would love to teach you some finger style and tons of other stuff and all Christian music, and uh, that's just a passion of mine. I feel it's a calling, and that is what uh, the Lord has just called me to, and I dedicate all my time to just Christian music and honoring Him with that. And as I teach all those things and play, and what I want to... Don't forget, guys free download of the guitar book you don't want to miss out because it's not going to be free forever so you can find this guitar book and the link below and you can also find my website in the link below just by clicking the link in the comments below go check it out have a blast praying for you guys keep your eyes on the lord and stay in his steps always god bless love you guys see you next week for the last one